Welcome to part two of Refinishing the Piano, where I'm sharing the journey of turning this into this. If you want to start back at part one, click here, or find the link in the description. We left off with me putting the first layer of black paint on the bench and feeling rather proud of myself. But I regret to inform you. I have bad news. The black paint reacted with the primer, which is the one thing I didn't test for because I've never had that happen in my entire life, so it never even occurred to me that that would be a thing. It's really weird. And the reason I know that it's the primer specifically, I have this one leg, I just used the black paint. This one is gorgeous, but everything that has primer on it, it's not even like sticky like it's wet, it's sticky like gum. It's really gross. So I can't use primer with this paint. While I try to figure out how to fix this mess, let's move on to other things. Thank God I did a test piece. I know this isn't gonna end well, but the whole middle part's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I hate this engraved scroll work. There are two on the face panel and one on the foot panel. I'm attempting to fill the engraving with layered wood putty on the foot panel first because it's less visible. Each time I fill it, I have to let it dry overnight. This is my third layer I'm sanding off. If it's flush, I should be able to close my eyes and run my hand over it and not tell there's anything there. There are a few spots I think I can feel. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a fourth layer on. I'm using a colored wood filler that starts out pink and turns brown as it dries. I really love it because I never have to guess if it's ready to sand. Then it's back to the garage to continue the removal of the devil paint. I'm working on the liar today and hand sanding the remaining paint out of the grooves by wrapping a piece of 120 grit sandpaper around a putty knife. It's a slow and tedious job. While the piano is still naked, we shot a music video real quick for our song, Bleed September. This was shot the day before I gave her her first coat of black paint. Filmed and edited by the one and only Ryan Klossa. He's kind of a big deal. Um, hi. I've done so much work on this piano already, but this is the only thing that's felt like progress. Feelings, anyway. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. The next morning, I sanded the entire piano down with 600 grit sandpaper, dusted it off, and painted it with coat number two. November 18th, I sanded off layer four of the wood putty, then vacuumed the space clean to get ready for more painting. I tape all of the parts on the pieces that won't get painted, then set them up so they can dry properly. The paint on the bench did dry eventually, so I'm leaving it instead of stripping it, but the inside of the bench I will paint without primer. The ridge on the kick panel, you can still see, so I have to fill it again, which will be the fifth layer of filler on it. But you can't see all of it, so I feel like it's working in theory. Everything else basically just needs a second or a third coat. Inside the piano bench, I'm using black spray paint on the metal corner pieces as this cabinet paint won't stick to metal. Everyone else gets another coat of paint. When I go in to sand off layer five a few days later, I have a new game plan. Instead of using a sanding sponge today, I actually like took a piece of scrap wood and made a sanding block because it will not yield. So hopefully I'll get a flatter. It worked pretty good. It's not perfect, but close enough for jazz. Between coats, I'm sanding each piece with 600 grit sandpaper and dusting them off. This is the last coat of paint for all the smaller pieces today. The foot panel will still need one to two more coats with this fresh wood putty on there. November 29th, the piano gets sanded, dusted, and her third and final layer of paint. But all is not well. Remember the natural wood on the bottom I wasn't planning on touching? Took all the tape off, and the blue tape ate the finish off parts of the natural wood on the bottom. Because of course it did. Typical! So now I'm gonna have to refinish the bottom. It has to cure for about a week. I can't put tape or anything on the piano for over a week. So. After seeing the final results of the foot panel, I decided not to use wood filler on the face panel. Because there's edges on each side, the best option seemed to be fitting a piece of plywood on the face to cover them completely. Thank you, plywood specialty and supply up in Green Bay. We picked out a piece of eighth inch birch plywood. Say hi, Mike. 
Hello. I need to sand out. This is still part of the lacquer. I need to hand sand out this on both sides. Using both a chisel and sanding pads, I finished cleaning off the face and did a rough sand of the back of the panel. It is painted white, but not with lacquer, so I don't have to clean it off completely. A table saw would have been the best way to go to cut the plywood, but we don't have one, so we're going to do the best we can with a small circular saw. The rule is measure twice, cut once, but we measured about five times and had to go back and forth several times to make it work. I had enough plywood to make one mistake, but not two. When the plywood was as close a fit as we could get it, I sanded it down, dusted it off, then painted the back of the face panel and the front of the plywood before calling it a day. Off camera the next day, I also painted the underside of the plywood on the edges and the sides of the face panel. So no sneaky white shows through. The plan is to paint each side with wood glue, spread it, let it get tacky, put them together, line them up, and weigh them down. But everything went wrong. I had to scramble and I couldn't think about the camera. Here's the recap of what happened. Okay, that sucked. The wood glue wouldn't spread. I don't know if it was too old or I should have wet the brush first, which is probably the more likely situation. I put it together, I weighted it down, and I immediately realized that the corners were sticking up. I had to act crazy fast because the glue, you know, the glue's gonna set. I took everything off of it, peeled the piece up really, really, really slowly, added more glue specifically around the edges, put it back together. D d you're those, so. And, and then scrambled to put a ton of weight on it and I've actually clamped all four corners and this edge. I had to do that in like a mad rush. I have a feeling that this is gonna be real messy. I can see glue. I'm trying to like wipe the glue off as I'm seeing it oozing out. I'm not gonna be able to get all of it. I did put cardboard under the clamps because I didn't have any flipping small enough pieces of wood. So I might try to quick cut some little pieces of wood to put under all the clamps so that the clamps don't dent the wood. The ply was just so thin. I was expecting it to just like be flat unto itself and then put a bunch of books on it and call it a day. And that is not what happened. That's not what happened at all. <laughs> so on that exciting cliffhanger, I'll wrap up this episode. So much more to come. Subscribe.